Hey guys, I know I'm still in my shirt. I feel, listen, it's a long story. But it's Friday, May 1st. It's about 6, 10 in the morning. Um, I'm still cleaning up, trying to get ready for this potential inspection. They might do it, they might not. They probably won't. Um, but yes, I'm about to get in the shower, get dressed, and get out of here. My mom was going to take me, but um, her headlights are, you know, on the fritz so I'm gonna catch a uber or a lift there and then text my homegirls and see like who's gonna be in the area around like seven or eight this morning to see if I can get a ride home because I have a good feeling I'm positive that I'm gonna be able to get all four if not these two that are giving me the blues out today I'm not even scared no more I'm just ready god I'm ready um so Yes, I'm gonna head there. Um, I will check in with you guys on the way and then I'll check in with you guys, you know, periodically throughout the day. And then, um, God willing, they do it. Um, I'll check in with you guys, you know, periodically this weekend because I've taken off today to go do this. And then, um, I'm gonna take off for my weekend gig tomorrow and Sunday. I'm gonna text him when I get there if they are able to do it I'm gonna say hey I'm about to have you know my wisdom teeth removed so I'm probably not gonna be you know any good this weekend so I'm gonna stay home you know but can you bring my check or whatever <laughs> but um yes so Evelyn has me doing that <laughs> it's funny um but yes that's what I'm gonna do that's where I'm headed I'm charging my headphones now I'm about to put my phone back on the charger so I can get that little last one percent and then I got my bag packed I have in my bag I have my little you know purse kit or whatever I have my wallet with my insurance card and everything in there um, I have an, another pair of headphones I just have like the over ear ones depending on what they let me use or not I'm just gonna take these with me um, I have because it's a clinic and so they may or may not ask for like financial information like and stuff like that so I have you know two most recent check stubs um, my yearly pay average or whatever and also a coupon for ice cream if there's one near there I think there is but I'm not sure I'm gonna have a gator I need to put in the refrigerator um, I have a towel somebody suggested bringing a towel for like drool and stuff a bottle of water I have some my regular like everyday pills like aspirin Tylenol uh, ibuprofen um, what else that a cough drop also have I think a piece of gum and um, a BC powder and antacids in here I have a comb so you know I could do my hair on the way there um, I have some gum which I'm probably not gonna even use for a couple weeks um, I have deodorant and a, a pair of in-ear headphones which I don't know if they were I need to test them out sunglasses because I mean the ones that they have are cute and all but if they let me wear these I'd like to wear these and then I have this pills to show them this is what I don't want and this is um, Tylenol 3 I don't want this y'all actually if y'all need these y'all can have them okay I have some empty Ziploc bags in case I get sick on the way there, on the way home, there, um, whatever. If I need to put stuff in, you know, I have them, the big gallon bags. Um, also to put like an ice pack or something in. Um, but yeah, I have some chapstick because somebody also suggested to moisturize your lips because your mouth's going to be like, uh, you know. Um, but yeah, so let me get dressed because I'm actually running a little bit behind schedule. Um... I have to get my glasses. I have earrings on. I'm going to take them off. They're probably going to make me take this out. Um, I'm going to bring my chargers and all that stuff. Other than that, that's it. I'm headed out and I will check in in a bit. How's you do it? I'm just eating right and exercising. <laughs> Alright, so here's the update. So I went to Manos de Cristo, as you saw, and got in the chair. They did the, they, he did like a little exam or whatever and then they did the x-rays and then they told me because of the way that they are in my mouth and 
um, you know, placement and like where they are and how far back and how far forward and out and in and all that kind of stuff that I have to go to an oral surgeon and I was like, well, what are, what are you guys? Are you pulling teeth and you're not oral surgeons? Anyway, whatever, whatever. So I have to go to an oral surgeon without insurance is going to cost a lot of monties a lot of monties so i don't know i have an appointment monday in in westlake or cedar park um at austin oral maleofacial um so i'm gonna go i mean it's 66 dollars but i'm gonna go and i'm gonna see what they say and if they offer me any kind of payment arrangement payment plan uh, discount. I know they offer a discount because when I went to Miles Crystal, I wasn't able to get seen there. Um, maybe I can get one of my friends or something, or my aunt or uncle or somebody to co-sign for me, and maybe I can get care credit to, uh, you know, help pay for it because I don't qualify for care credit on my own. But I do. I could if I had a, a co-signer. So. Um, we're gonna see. That's really the only update I have. Um, I took the day off because I thought I was gonna be able to do it. Um, but unfortunately I didn't. So I took the day off for nothing. Um, because literally I was done at like 8.45. And so I could have literally went from there back to work and had, you know, my, my hours today. But, you know what? I chalk it up to I needed a day off anyway I never take